Hi, my name is Keiichi Matsuda. I'm a designer and filmmaker from London. I'm here in Medellin to make a new film, and it's really about uh, everyday life in the future. The type of film that I'm interested to make is one that makes you think about the way you're using technology at the moment, and if it's something that, that you know, you're happy with, and if it's something that you want to continue doing in the future. When I found out about augmented reality, I was very interested that suddenly we can think about uh, physical and digital as part of the same thing. The future that I'm showing in my films uses augmented reality to overlay the entire city with information from the internet. Um, it might seem like something that we do already when we're using our laptops or mobile phones, um, but by having this as a, something which is always on and always surrounding us, you can do so much more uh, with those spaces. <laughs> Cup of tea. Fill kettle with two hot plates, one PG tips tea bag, and a clean mug. This film uses augmented reality as a way to talk about the future, but the film is not about augmented reality. The film is about how we live our everyday lives and how technology can influence that as well. I first came to Medellin two years ago for Fractal and uh, it was amazing there to, to hear so many conversations and opinions about the future of the city. You know, people were so interested in the future of their city about trying to make a new idea about what Medellin could be like, which is separate from its old identity. So I thought it was a very exciting place to, to be able to, to create new things in the city. The films are going to be set in Medellin, Colombia. Medellin is, a beautiful city. Medellin is a city that's reinventing itself all of the time, you know. It's always making its own future and always moving forward, which is something that's very attractive to me as a filmmaker. Now I'm going to use the skills and experience I've gained to make a bigger, deeper new film. So we wanted to shoot the films from the perspective of each character. The only problem we had is that we wanted to shoot in 3D, and at the moment there's no 3D equipment available for the new GoPros. Um, so instead of that, we decided to design uh, these white uh, 3D printed rigs which allow us to shoot with two cameras at the same time and then afterwards we can combine them together to make a 3D image. Technology, marketing and design new sites. The project has generated a lot of local interest here in Medellin too. It's been featured on TV and we even managed to get a full page spread in Colombia's national news. One of the interesting things is because it's shot from the point of view of the character, you can't see their face. And in cinema, we often look, use the face to be able to, to tell the story. So we're thinking, well, how do we do that? Uh, but one of the interesting things about augmented reality is that you're able to customize your environment. You're able to, to choose what elements of the city you see. And it's just a bit like Facebook or Twitter. You, know, you, you just follow people that you like, you follow topics that you're interested in. So the idea here is that you'll be able to understand the character, not by seeing their face, but by seeing the city and the city will be a reflection of the personality of that character. So for example, you have a kind of digital aura about yourself. If I search your name, I'll be able to find some things on the internet about you. What if I can see that right now? You know? And what if I can also see our mutual connections, if there's the bands that we both like, or friends that we have in common, you know, that, that can be a really interesting way to, to think about how social networks and physical space can combine. I'm not selling augmented reality. You know, I'm, not a, I'm not even supporting it. To be honest, I'm worried about it. I, I think that it's potentially a dangerous technology that could start to really have very strong effects on the way we see ourselves, the way we communicate with people the way we live our everyday life. So the films are about trying to understand the consequences of the technology 
and to invite people to start a conversation about it.